Hello, welcome to this section of Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to continue working with inductors and uh, talking about power and energy calculations just to give you some practice. So in this particular problem, what we know is the current in a 50 micro Henry inductor is the following. And again, it's going to be one of these crazy looking currents. 18 times t times e to the minus 10 t. Of course, that unit is amps because it's current, and that's for t greater than or equal to zero. So this is what the current looks like in the inductor. Part A is asking us, find v of t for t greater than or equal to zero. So we know we have a 50 microhenry inductor. We know what the current profile is as a function of time in amps as t uh, goes uh, greater than zero, and we need to find the voltage. So this is coming from a direct calculation of the voltage across an inductor is always equal to L times di dt, which is the derivative of the current with respect to time. We've said this many times. And so it's going to be L is 50 microhenry, so just be careful. You need to put 50 times 10 to the minus 6 for microhenries. And di dt, we need to calculate. So we need to find the derivative of this current as a function of time. Now notice that it's kind of like two little functions here. You have this one as a function of time times this one. So you need to use the product rule of differentiation. The first term times the derivative of the second plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll have uh, 18 times t, that's the first term, times the derivative of the second term is going to be negative 10 e to the minus 10 t. So the exponential is indestructible. We have the derivative of the exponent coming down because of the chain rule there. So this is the derivative, uh, the first part of the derivative, first times the derivative of the second term plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. That would be a positive 18. So let me close this whole thing up. This thing is the um, the derivative di dt. That's what that is. So all we need to do to uh, find the answer is to simplify this. And so what we're going to get is v of t, uh, voltage is function of time. Now in order to simplify it, let's take this 50 times 10 to the minus 6 and let's multiply by uh, this 18. Notice we also have a negative there. So what we're going to have is negative 0 0.0009 times the t here still have times 10. We haven't done that yet. e to the minus 10t. I could multiply by 10 here, but you'll see why we're kind of keeping it like this for now. What we've done is multiply this times the 18 times negative 1 